So I want to know, like, what as far as because you're always doing something, you know, for the community and for the city of Houston. So I want to know, like, what do you, what do you have going on in the works as far as that? You know, I got, I got a children's shelter right now. Right. So I'm housing uh, abused kids. You know, a lot of CPS kids. I'm going actually back and forth with the uh, the people who got the spot. I, I guess the people who I'm uh, getting leasing the spot from. And I guess they kind of don't really understand the importance of it, so I'm thinking about possibly shutting it down for one or two months and relocating. Cause I don't want to have I don't want to have kids there, and it's uncomfortable when you got people not understanding what they really going through, and just making stuff a hassle. They already going through hell moving pillar to post, so we don't need no extra hell getting put on them from goddamn leasing people. So it's like I think I might I'm. Tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to decide if I do shut down for a month or two, I'm going I'm to hopefully go get a bigger and better spot and, you know, just to where they have a little more leeway, man, because I want the kids to be able to come to the shelter. I don't want it to be, you know, a lot of people are like, man, why don't you just go get a little two-bedroom house? It's just like, nah, I want I want this shelter to be somewhere my child or anybody else to go to, they're going to feel comfortable. Like, you know, I want, I want them to live like how we live. So, of course, I, I want to go get a, a real big spot on top of the spot I got now and you know bring a lot of artists and just different people who motivate them and that way even when they leave and go back to their families or leave wherever they may be they always want to come back to that be open door. How did the deal come about with Grand Hustle? How did that come into the works? I mean first and foremost man people gotta understand within the industry a lot of you niggas are my true partners like what fuck the music, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like for instance, me and Lupe, we brothers. Like we ain't when we get together, we ain't giving no fuck about music. We kicking it with the kids and just doing what's what. And me and Tip go way, way back. And um, actually, last time he was incarcerated, we hollered, and you know he told me to make sure I would keep doing my thing, keep killing the streets. And when he came home, we didn't get in touch with each other for a while. But when we did, you know it's like we hit it right back off, man. And, be a real good nigga, man. And when I say that, I say that from from the bottom of my heart. You know, the nigga like man, Trey, you going? You, I see you out here. You've been doing it for a minute, and you're going through a lot. But I want to see you make it, man. Like, even if you don't come over here with me and team up with me, I still want to get to a situation where I can see you do something. And you know, with that, real recognize real. So you know, like I told him, I'm rock. So me and him. Even though I, he could have got me a situation somewhere, I chose to rock with him and you know, shit, we're gonna go out here and get it. You know, we'll team up and make it happen.